The blunders are all there on the board, waiting to be made. Savielli Tartakover Hello chess lovers, Sorep here and in this video I want to share with you a very dramatic game played between Icelandic chess grandmaster Friedrich Olafsson and the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. The game was played in 1971 at Alohin Memorial. Olafsson who was playing with white pieces opened up with d4 to which Tal responded with knight f6, c4, c5 and instead of going for the good old lines of Benoni defense Olafsson chose the anti-Benoni variation and played knight f3. I have to tell you that with the transposition of moves, this position can be reached from the symmetrical English opening. For example, white can open up with c4 and to c5 can play knight f3 and then play d4. So, in here Tal played c takes d4 and after knight takes d4 played e6 in order to develop his kingside bishop and also in some cases black can go for d5 advancement knight c3 and bishop b4 after which white has a wide range of options white can either play queen b3 or g3 or knight db5 or queen c2 in our game we have knight db5 by Olafsson by the way I have to tell you that allowing bishop takes c3 is also good White can even play g3 and this is a line which Magnus Carlsen loves to play nowadays. I have to tell you that bishop takes c3 is not really good. This is allowing white to get a powerful bishop pair and later white can use the strength of the bishops successfully. For example, just by relying on the weakness of this diagonal, white can create too many problems for black. But in our game after knight c3 bishop b4 we have knight db5 by Olafsson and already knight d6 can be a nasty threat that's why Tal castled kingside a3 bishop takes c3 check knight takes c3 d5 bishop g5 h6 bishop takes f6 queen takes f6 and e3 well winning a pawn is not really good because in the end of the day black is actually managing to get a nice compensation. Yeah, still white king is in the center of the board. Black can quickly get lead in development and create problems for white. That's why in our game after queen takes f6 we have a solid move by Olafsson e3, rook d8, c takes d5, e takes d5 and queen d4. White is offering the exchange of queens and is not interested in playing against an isolated pawn. But Tal decided to keep the queens on the board, played queen g5, thus making hard for white to develop the light squared bishop. In return, Olafsson decided to harass black queen, and then once there is a weakness, white played h4, Olafsson decided to castle queenside and try to launch an attack on the king side. After castling queenside, we have knight c6 by Tal, queen f4, d4. E takes d4, rook takes d4, queen c7, and bishop d7. Of course in here capturing on b7 is not good, because once black is managing to open up the b file, white is getting a lost position. If queen a6 then queen b3 can follow, and if rook d2, then even this simple rook b6 is winning white queen is getting trapped or after rook b8 if queen c7 then anyways queen b3 is coming and if rook d2 then simply rook takes d3 the game is over yes black is winning that's why instead of grabbing a pawn after bishop d7 we have rook e1 by Olafsson queen f6 hitting on f2 and rook e4 white is offering the exchange of rooks uh, so far so good, we had an equal game, but in here Tal made a terrific blunder and played rook c8. Instead it was better either to go for the exchange of rooks or putting the bishop on a solid square is even better, but instead we have rook c8 and after Olafsson's next move Tal resigned. Can you find that move? Mm, actually that's very simple and in here Olafsson simply munched Tal's rook, forcing a resignation, because if you accept the queen sacrifice, then 
checkmate will follow. Even if you are the most fierce attacker, the greatest tactician, the magician from Riga, one wrong step and you are done. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for white. There is a checkmate in 4 and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.